Good morning. It's December 13th, the day after Occupy went and tried to close down most of the West Coast ports. Partly successful. I'm just putting on some sunscreen while we do this here. Um, I'm going to go up and do a video. So, that was good. They uh, were able to partially shut down the ports with the message about offshoring. You know, a lot of people don't know why they're shutting down the ports. Offshoring, we're tired of it. We're tired of putting, taking all of our natural resources, putting them on a barge, shipping them over to China, having them processed over there, and then having nothing but junk sent back to us. You know what I mean? stuff that, that we throw away within two or three months, maybe a year, it's, it's already worn out. So anyway, um, we're going to go on a little walk and I'll, uh, we'll talk about uh, Occupy possibly putting up a candidate for the President of the United States. Wouldn't that be neat to Occupy the White House? legally, non, you know, with no violence. I don't see anything wrong with that. It would take a lot of energy, but look at how much energy is being put out already. So from here, I'm going to go do a screenshot on the computer for you, and then we'll go look at the weather and head on out. Got the sunscreen on. SPS 50. Okay, that's that's Pink Barrio's website right here. Uh, this is the home page, pinkbarrio.com. All right, that's pretty easy. And uh, you can check out my blog, which is right here. And you just scroll down, you'll get a video. Uh, some cool shirts you can purchase from... Uh, friendly vendors, local vendors, people like yourselves and myself. Uh, we have kitchen and health, something to wear, uh, the card salon, LED lights. So check it out. So let's go look at the weather. Pleasant, not much fog. Let's head out. All right. Oh, we made it up to the top of the hill. But I would, I, I'm just going to do a quick vlog here. Vlog. Um, why is this country, the U.S., embarrassing itself? Why are we running Newt Gingrich as the Republican frontrunner? You know, there are other countries watching. This is quite embarrassing, really. When is it time to get a real left aggressive group together and replace as many in Congress that we can? The whole group from one end all from the from the bottom to the top, from a governor all the way up to the presidency. We, we've got a you know Occupy is a movement. It's it's sort of on the left. It's more kind of middle of the road. But come on, let's try something. Maybe put you know give suggestions to each other of who would be good to um, you know who would be good in in in, in particular slot. It, at least it would give the movement some direction to go, something to, to work for. And right now we're just working to putting our, you know, the best people in jail. And once they're in jail, they, they come out with all this baggage. They have to deal with court this and getting this reduced and, you know, 
and then, then we never see the people much after that because the, the court has ordered them not to say anything or, or take part in the, in the movement. So you lose all those people. The minute you put them in jail or they're, they're, you know, they're pretty run down. Let's put some energy into running at least somebody for the top spot, the presidency. Put at least some energy into it. And I, I know to keep the, the people's interest, that I think that would really help. Because right now people are wondering, you know, what, what are we doing? We're shutting down the ports. All right, what's next? Well, we'll shut this down and shut that down. But, but really, you're not getting it. I think there's something. Very strange out here. It's winter, so nobody's out here. Um, that's sort of my rant: is um, why are we? Wh how can we possibly be putting Newt Gingrich on a single television or radio station, or even on the internet? Aren't we a little embarrassed? What does he propose that we do with the Palestinians? I mean. Where do we push people that think they live someplace and then they get pushed off of it? I mean, who is going to want that group of people? Exactly. What, what thinking is going into that versus a two-state situation or a three-state situation? Or, you know, real negotiations that haven't happened since, uh, what, 2000 or 1990-something? 99, 98, I think it was the last time anybody, any really thing was going on with that. So anyway, there's a, a lot of reasons to, to push for a, uh, a green, progressive, left candidate who is not a politician. Maybe he's a scholar, maybe he's a, a teacher, I think an educator, you know. Anyway, let me know what your thoughts are either on YouTube or you can go to Pink Barrio and check out the latest vlogs. Till next time.